All right, here's another short movie review of a movie I just got the other day. It's called Let the Right One In. And I'm going to talk a little bit about vampire prep also. Now, this is a movie called, like I said, Let the Right One In. And it's supposed to be one of the best vampire movies ever. Um, I thought it was a good movie. I don't think it was great, but it was very, very interesting. And I was intrigued through the whole thing, and I think it's worth watching at least once. Had a great ending, too. Anyway, uh, it's a, it's a, either made in Sweden or Norway or one of the Scandinavian countries because it's overdubbed in English. But nonetheless, uh, it's very easily understandable, and I, I really liked it. Okay, um, a couple of other vampire movies that uh, were a whole lot better than this one, I think, was... Uh, this Dracula movie, I think it was made in, uh, I don't remember, late 90s, with Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, and the rest. That was good. That was a very, very high-budget movie. This this one here, Let the Right One In, was a low-budget movie. But another couple of movies that were really good vampire-wise, uh, one of them is called Fright Night. That's with uh, Chris Sarandon, William Ragsdale, and Roddy McDowell very good vampire movie and the sequel or the next movie in that series was Fright Night 2 again with uh, Roddy McDowell and the whole and the whole cast was back not the whole cast um, Chris Sarandon was not in this one because he got uh, I'm not gonna say what happened to him anyway as long as uh, bringing up uh, prepping uh, there have been a lot of videos on um, the uh, zombie apocalypse and what do you what have you done to prep for it? I've done a few videos on that too. We all have our AK-47s, our AR-15s, lots of big knives, uh, lots of ammo, stuff like that. But what happens if there's a uh, vampire apocalypse? Well, the first couple things you can do is get yourself some holy water. That's easily obtainable. Go down to your local church. You probably haven't been there in a while. And some crosses. Crosses are easy to make. Vampires do not like crosses. Also, garlic. I don't have any garlic right now. I think I have some uh, chopped garlic in their fridge, but that's all I have. Uh, crosses, garlic. And one of the best things you can do is start cutting steaks. Wooden steaks kill vampires. Even these short ones will do good. This is like five or six inches long. You can easily concealed in your pocket and uh, pretty easy to make and they don't cost 40 bucks like some of the big knives we have here's another one it's a little bit longer it's made of a uh, uh, table leg an old table leg I had some furniture laying around so I started making uh, vampire steaks what the heck that's vampire prep another one this is a bit longer pointy stick with a, with a uh, rubber mallet that's for the the ultimate vampire killing to the chest and he's dead that should dust him okay that's uh, uh, what I'm I'm doing for uh, vampire prep and as long as I'm doing zombie prep I'm gonna do vampire prep too so again this movie was let the right one in pretty good vampire movie and a few things for vampire prep knuckle bump